Bora, bora. bora. They, use, they sang that so cute to us, too, when you get there and you leave. How did it go? I don't remember. I feel like it was like, it, it was sounded like, like the Dora song. Bora. Yeah, and they were playing like the like little instruments. I'm out of breath. There are people that sat and played those instruments all day long. No, they were literally like the Titanic people that went down with the ship. Yes, they were committed and I loved it. This episode is going to be all about Sam's Bora Bora tart We've trip. got the tea, but like mild tea, because honestly there wasn't that much tea. Well, there was a little, but we want to be invited back, so we're not going to talk yeah, about it. Yeah, we're, we're going to like give some mild tea without being anything crazy because um, we just need them to love us. I think they did love me. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I think they did. Honestly. They did. Okay, so. Who wouldn't love me, right? We're going to have two perspectives here. One is going to be my perspective. Because oh, you like watching it from the outside. I watched it from the outside and I saw how everybody. Oh, so much hate. No, no. Well, who oh, gives a fuck about okay. that? Oh, don't get me started. Don't unleash the beast. But. Everybody was talking about it. Oh yes, every no 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 no. no I don't these tart trips are a big deal. Yes, I I get it. My you, one goal in life is to keep my face off of drama channels, and it was there. And on a stick. <laughs> yeah, my little stick they gave us to these when we first got to the island. Can Audio you see? listeners, she's holding a stick with her face on it. And it's my new like when I put my setting spray on and I need to dry my face. This is what I use now. We got a comment from a girl. <laughs> Oh, no. On the podcast. Yeah. And she was like, how dare you forget about audio listeners? Like, I'll go to a podcast that appreciates me. Like, oh, my God. I mean, it's just hard when I'm, we're filming it. We didn't forget about you. We were just saying we forget that some people listen to it. Yeah, Shut up. I, when I watch podcasts, so I forget that people actually just listen on Spotify. Yeah, I know. And we, app we appreciate. Oh, yeah, we love you. Everyone the same. We will suck your toes. Maybe. <laughs> if you've showered. You. <laughs> <laughs> If you're clean. Yeah. Um, before we get into the episode, I just want to say, everyone, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Give us five stars on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Mm -hmm. Leave a comment because I noticed the videos that do best are the ones that have the most comments. Yeah. So comment anything you can think of. Tripping with Tart. Yeah. Hashtag Tripping with Tart. Tripping with... It's such a trippy hashtag. Yeah. And I still sound awful, by the way. So I'm not trying to have that. I'm insecure about my voice because... Everyone keeps commenting about the influencer, like, rasp. I forget what they call it. Um, ooh, it's a big word. It's not a big word. It's just above my vocabulary level. Vocal fry. Fry. Yes, thank you. I should know that word. You should know fry, <laughs> I bitch. should know that one. <laughs> um, and I sound like I have that, but I'm getting slightly concerned that I have permanently damaged my vocal cords from when what? I was sick a couple of weeks ago. Respectfully. I can't sing anymore. It still cracks. Like, I, it's like I, the words actually don't come out. Yeah, well, maybe for one day of your life, just one day, you should shut the fuck up. I know I can't though. What I'm saying is, I Same. probably should go on vocal rest and give her some time. But name a day where I have shut the fuck up. It doesn't. It doesn't it, exist. It, it does not exist. Uh -uh. But same though. I just yeah, talk I just to my talk dogs. all the time. Don't do that. Sorry. Don't do that. You need okay. to clear it out. Audio listeners, I am decked out. I have a tripping with tart pillow. Mm -hmm. I have that a side's a little dirty. Maybe we flip it around. Oh, well, why is it dirty, Samantha? The dirt. I, mean, I don't know. She came all the way from Bora Bora with us. I don't actually know that that was one of the things we were supposed to take, <laughs> but we took it from the plane. I doubt they reuse them. I mean, well, everyone I, on our plane took them. So I have a tripping with tart pillow. I have a Hawaiian shirt with Mama Kelly's face and a chicken on I it. I hope they can see that. She does kind of blend in more than mine. I don't know. Can you see it? Mama Kelly is holding her chicken. And they gave us to those on the island. I also have a sun hat on. Yeah, Mom Kelly was really excited about the sun hat when we got to the room because um, she really wanted one. That was I thought that was going to be more extravagant story. And I actually have a surprise for our podcast listeners Oh, that I have kept from you, but I also haven't talked to you since then. So when we got to the villas in Bora Bora, one of the things that people were just absolutely pissed about uh -oh. was all the stuff that was in the room. Which they did leave an astronomical amount of gifts. But, you know, those were the sponsors of the trip. So if a brand was going to sponsor it, they gave you something to put in the room. So that way you could have, like, promo for it, whatever. Right. But Tarte was allowing us to do two different giveaways. We got to do a G7X giveaway, which I have going on on my Instagram and my TikTok. But we also got to do... I thought you guys would like this more. I don't know why. A room giveaway of all of this stuff that was in the room. No Every way. single item that you guys saw, if you go watch my TikTok, 
in the room. I have a YouTube video coming, but those just take longer to edit. Um, but every single thing that was in that room, we get to give away. So I saved it for the podcast. Did you really? Yeah. So um, you guys, I'm going to pick a winner in the next episode. Like I'll name who won. But what you have to do to enter, they got, they told us that we get to make up our own rules. Okay. So you have to subscribe to the podcast channel mm-hmm. on YouTube. So <clears throat> all you have to do is comment on this video. So talk about comments, helping engagement. Um, comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. That's it. That's all you have to do to win. The next time we sit down right here in these chairs to film, we're going to pick one of you guys. And if you don't know what to comment, if you're just like, oh my God, I don't know, just comment tart. Yep. We need tart to know that we love them. I know. Okay. So I was thinking I'm going to make it like a mission. Be honest here. I was going to start like a series. Are you trying to get invited? It's going to be day one of me trying to get invited to the tart trip. Mm -hmm. And every time I'm going to use a different tart product and test it out. Mm -hmm. But it's funny because I've never used. Do we start now or... Closer to the next one. No, like now. Imagine it's like day 635. No, it will be because... Okay. Well, they do one a year at minimum. Sometimes two. You know what it is? Hmm. I want to do that. I was telling Mama Kelly this before. I want to do that, but because I have a lot of like... Like my followers who followed me for years and our followers who have followed us for years, they know my sense of humor. Yeah. But we have a lot of new people No, they really don't get it. Who They don't get my sense no, of humor. not at all. So like... But they're going to learn eventually. Yeah, but I don't know. I, but who I, cares? But like that would be so funny knowing my sense of humor. Yeah. But, but people also are in general when we post stuff like that. I did see a couple of comments. So I, Spilly posted the video and I was in it or whatever. I, your whole entire TikTok was yeah, in it. Yeah, I don't want to get Spill on Spill sesh. It. But this, there was a couple comments that I saw of people being like, it just rubs me the wrong way that Samantha Joe is able to like. I saw that. Metal her way on this trip. And. So people are going to be mad regardless. So just post the damn shit. People were like, oh my gosh, you're even on the video that I posted. That's such so desperate of you. Okay. It worked, bitch. <laughs> okay. I will be desperate in Bora, in Bora, Bora. Bora. Same. Yeah. Like, I don't care. And we put in work on that trip. Yeah, you we did. We had made, if you guys haven't watched the TikToks or if you only watch YouTube, there is a full vlog coming. Okay. I vlogged everything for YouTube too. But we... Made such good Bora Bora content. It was so fun. You really did. And like, I noticed a lot of people, I mean, everyone's Bora content was amazing. Yeah. Everyone did amazing. It's hard and to make bad content somewhere that beautiful. So much was going on. I get it. But for the most part, everyone was doing like sounds and stuff, which yeah. they're still promoting. Great. Yeah. But you were really showing everything. Oh, yeah. like, and I did TikToks. get ready with me. We also like took, I'm never going to get to go jet skiing in Bora Bora for free again. You know what I mean? Like, I'm taking my GoPro with me and I'm filming everything. Everyone oh, yeah. that saw me have a GoPro was like, oh, that's so smart. Because on the excursions, people couldn't film a lot. Yeah, no, you were the only one. Yeah, because like their stuff would get wet. That I saw. I'm like, yeah, people would like were like risking their phones for sure. But I don't know. I was just like, I got my GoPro. I'm good. And mm. the GoPro, because I do YouTube too, films vertical and horizontal at the same time. Does it? Mm-hmm. Oh, because it's just a square. It's right? a big, yeah, it's like a bigger <clears throat> square. So you cut the middle for vertical and like this way for horizontal okay so to end off the little giveaway segment um do you want to just say some of the things that were in the room yeah there was a lot like you guys will win a base carry-on suitcase i'll probably put a lot in there there was a record player in there all of the tart makeup you can think of they're launching new i think that is one sitting right there the maracuja juicy lip lip vinyl so like it's i guess shinier and juicier than the other ones. I've loved those ever since they came out. I think that's what they launched at the Dubai trip. Mm. Like their original ones. They're just so great. They're not sticky. So, so many of those clothes. So I'm assuming like. So many clothes. I'm Yeah. I don't know how that's going to work because the clothes were all different per like person. person and like what sizes and stuff you need. So whoever wins, mind you, if you are getting contacted from anything that's not my YouTube channel with a check mark. Okay. Or like in your comments, if you have Instagram, leave your Instagram handle. If it is not from my account, it's not me. It's you, you didn't win. Like I hate to bring it to you, but you'll get all those fake like Telegram accounts. The, yeah, there's going to be a bunch of fake accounts trying to yeah. contact you guys saying you want to get money you, from you. No. No. I, and maybe you did win, but it'll come from either sidetracked. But even then, I like that our in, our YouTubes have the little yeah. verified thing by it. So I will comment back on your, on your comment if you won and... DM you or get in contact with you somehow. So if you do have Instagram, leave it in the comment. You just go to, to the account. To go to the, the account and just make sure it's one of Sam's like big account. Yes, like like make accounts. sure it's me. 
Um, but I'll, I'll probably ask you, like I said, I don't know how po- that part's going to work, but I'm assuming they'll just be like, okay, what size clothes do they wear? Yeah. Like what size stuff do you need? And I'll get that information from you. I pass it along to Tarte and Tarte will ship you everything. There's like swimsuits, there's like hair care, skin, there's jewelry, so like so much stuff. Like, just let me know if you're a silver or gold girly. We got this. Yeah. We'll figure all that out when you yeah. pick the winner, I guess. Yeah. But I wanted to say it for you guys because I didn't want you guys to think that the podcast wasn't special. And TikTok already get, did the, I did the camera on Instagram and TikTok. And so to me, the room stuff is so much more fun because there's so many goodies. There. Okay. It, you could see everything. If you go to Sam's TikTok, mm-hmm. she did a room tour. It's um, all in there. And everything that was in the room is in there. So yeah. if you want to see it, you could go look at that. But, Even a beach waiver. Anyways. Um, should we get into like... Yeah. Should we, break, should we go in order? Like... Yeah. Okay. So I really quick, I guess just say for anyone who doesn't know how this came about. So if you guys are unaware, I think we talked about a little bit of the last episode. I did not watch the last episode back. So I God bless me. I hope it. it's great. But um, I posted a video on TikTok. I had saw that Tart was going on this trip to Bora Bora. It got delayed. And I saw Brooke post a video. I love her. Her TikToks are so funny now. My, like um, my Brooke? Yes. <laughs> my Brooke. <laughs> she, yeah, you, you literally. No. Um, love her though. But they went, so she was supposed to go on the trip with Tana. And then because it got delayed, they're on canceled tour. So they couldn't go anymore. And in my head, I'm like, okay, two empty seats, two spots that are open. Tart, take me. I made a TikTok. It went super viral. Weeks passed, heard nothing from them. And then it was quite literally like six days before the trip, like a week before the trip. Yeah. And we get con- I-, I got a DM from Maureen Kelly, the CEO of Tarte, who is hilarious. Oh my God. By the way. Okay. She so a she, and a half. I love, I was telling Stephanie this. I love that Maureen was involved in everything. Mm-hmm. Like she was in the water with you with the snorkel oh, yes. on. Yeah, like she was the person patting my back while I had sharks coming next to me being like, it's okay, honey. You would think like the CEO would like stay in her room yeah. and like not, no, she was like, no, she was the life of the party doggy paddling yes. next to you no she was and you could just tell that she was so proud of everything like that was happening and like okay this brand that i built is able to like throw stuff like this like we have like we are so successful that we can like take these people and do this like, she you really could just gives tell off, she was really grateful she really gives off like girls girl no she's a girl's girl well maybe she, now she's she could be too. a girls and gays girl oh she loves the gays too well, don't worry i i do need some um i almost said shark tape Shark tape? Tart shape tape. That stuff is so good. Yeah, I know. I, I actually know. think that one of the shades in there I saw and I was like, yeah, that's for Andrew. Back so. in like 2016 or 2017, they Tart sponsored Playlist Live. Oh, yeah. And I got my mom like a year's worth of makeup. Mm-hmm. It was insane. No, they gave so much makeup. I'm even going to be like doing a giveaway. I'll probably do it on my YouTube video of I don't even need all of the makeup that got put in the room. Mm-hmm. Um, that's just, I'll never use it all. Especially like I have so many of those lip things that I could just have them for forever. So I'll probably do like a separate giveaway of the, some of the stuff that was like in my room on there too. But yeah, they are just so generous. But I mean, then again, they make it. So, so okay. You got invited. Yeah, I did get invited. You got ready, Last whatever. Minute. That's the boring Packed, stuff. went on, whatever. And then I want to talk about the private jet situation. Yes. I was a little spooked. Like, actually more than a little spooked. <laughs> when they said private jet, I immediately had... Because in the email that we got, it said, we're going to be taking private jets over to Bora Bora. They were going on about how it's, like, more carbon neutral or something. Mm-hmm. I only read private jet, I'm going to die. Yeah. And so I Googled what the last Tart trips were like. And they, they were private jets because you chartered all the seats out of them. But they were big. Like, they were all on, like, two planes, I think. And, like, or one plane even. Like, a regular yeah. plane full of, like, first-class-looking seats. And that's what I, I that's pictured. That's what I was expecting. I pictured it was going to be, like, a commercial private. Me too. No, they were just private jets. No, no, like no. Yeah. Kelly Jenner. The, we get there. And we're all in this little room. We're meeting everybody, saying hi to everybody. Everyone was so sweet. We got there so early. They did tell us that our bag could only be 50 pounds. <laughs> Those lying mother truckers. I get there. I'm panicking because when I put my suit, my suitcase, my suitcase in, in Tampa, it was 63 pounds. Oh, no. Sam. I said, what am I going to do? Well, I did pack an hour before we left. Um, and I'm like panicking. But I had bought like an empty carry-on suitcase because I knew just in case... I could put stuff in the carry-on and then leave it at the hotel until we got back. So that's what we did. I took so much stuff out the night before. I left it. The base suitcases had this little weight indicator on it. So I was pretty sure it was fine. It was teetering, but I was pretty sure it was fine. We go to give them to him. Then when we go to check in at like the 
it was different than a regular airport. It was like a private little hangar that you pull up to and you get out at. No TSA. Honestly, that was the best part. Yeah. I think it did ruin, I mean, granted, I'll never fly on a private jet again, but it did ruin commercial travel a little bit just for the sake of not having to deal with people in TSA. You just walk onto well, the plane. Do you, have, do you have pre-check or clear? No, I need to get, well, keep it. Did you not see the stuff going on with that? What? Now they have pre-check and clear lines yeah, but- where you have both. And at that, when me and Gerald flew through Denver, when we got to Denver to go to Aspen, the pre-check and clear line. So you have both, you have to have both to be in that line yeah. was two hours long. That's crazy. I mean, maybe that was just a free thing. Cause I was on six planes last week. Yeah. I used clear at every airport. Yeah. And- no, I was telling my mom while we were traveling, I don't know if it was to LA or back. I was saying, I want to get clear really bad and I want to get pre-checked. So. Yeah. Because then you have to take your electronics out. You what? You don't have to take your yeah, electronics no. out with clear. Do you have to take it out? No. Oh, so you really only need one or the other. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I do need to get that. I need to consider because I've been traveling a lot. No, I don't remember what we were saying before that. Uh, private jet stuff. Mm. It ruined. So we get there and everyone's just chilling and hanging out and talking. Everyone was so friendly. That was the first thing I remember thinking. It was like really early, right? Yeah. We got there super early. Of course. But, well, you had different call times. So they had texted us the night before and was like, here's this group of six or 10 people. Here's this group of 10 people. And there was like five planes, which is crazy when you think about money. Five planes? Yes. Five of them. How many of you went? Well, how many? I think 30 or 40. How many was it to a plane? Like 10. Including plus ones? Yeah. Okay. And then there was some employees on each flight too. And so they gave it to us the night before and each plane was leaving like a little bit after the other. And so it said like, this is the time you have to be there. So ours was 630 and we were going to leave at seven. And so we get there, I hand in my bag and I'm panicking. So I'm like, what am I going to do if it's overweight? And he's like, no, the weight doesn't matter. Like just give me your bag. As I have left all of my shorts, (laughs) all of my like stuff that I actually needed. But I was like, what am I going to do? I can't have it. And I left it all in the bag back there. I'm like crying a little bit, but I have a feeling they did that because they knew we were coming back with so much yeah. and that people probably would have went overboard and brought like two big suitcases and they didn't really have room for that on those tiny planes. So we sat there. We ended up leaving so much later when we were supposed to, because there was just people that were already sick, which that we'll chat about. Everybody was so sick. Why? I don't know if it was like sun poisoning. Oh, like after? No, during. During the trip. Like what kind of sick? Like, I don't, people get really sensitive about when we talk about this. Oh. But like, I have no other way to describe it. This is how everyone was walking around saying this. Like, this might be calling out Maureen. Even Maureen said this. Oh. Peeing out their butthole in the shower. <laughs> okay. In the toilet. That was- <laughs> no, in the shower. So they they sorry, were Maureen. all specific about the shower. They were all saying it. Everybody, if you saw them at the tart trip, they were doing it. Me and Mama Kelly didn't get sick, although Mama Mama Kelly had some accidents, but (laughs) we didn't get sick because we weren't eating the food because I was raised such a picky eater that we, I quite literally like we were barely eating. I cannot believe you just called out everyone and said they were pissing out their asshole in the shower. No, they were. Hold on. That could have stopped like four words sooner. Yeah, maybe. But I mean, it's the truth. And I don't know what it was from. Because I think the water was fine. I think everything like was fine. And granted, maybe just the lack of preservatives in the food. Yeah. A like Bora it Bora being is, so natural. It is food. in the middle of... I think it's, it's the most... the middle of nowhere. It's the most like... No, you have Tahiti right close. But no, I'm saying I feel like that area is like the most secluded land. Oh, yeah. It was the French... It's French Polynesia. It is in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, like in between Hawaii and Australia. Yeah, it's literally the middle of nowhere. I was actually really scared. <laughs> That's why the little planes were freaking me out. One it's big like, wave. What? One big wave. Literally. Well, there really weren't many waves, but I was just afraid when we were in the middle of the ocean, like... Not only are we going down, but if we go down and somehow survive, oh yeah, no. we're floating on what for how long before people find us? Yeah, no. Like we're in the middle of nowhere. Floating on yes, on the plane. Well, I wonder if they float. Mm, they I- sink. But everyone in there was nice, thankfully. And we waited. We boarded on our planes. They did have some issues where like some people weren't able to go until the next day because this is where I it got me. Okay. I was on plane three. Plane four, 
they couldn't fly it because it had like it was broken essentially they realized it last second <laughs> like the company realized last second that the flight was not the plane wasn't so safe those people to fly. missed like a whole day well they tried to put them on other planes where they could there was like some bench seats that they were able to get people on but there were some people who had to get on a flight that was really late and they stopped it i think it's called papit papete whatever it's tahiti essentially and they stayed there the night and took a boat over in the mornings. They got in like super late, but then even like the plane five left super late, so they didn't get in till the dark. So it was dark. Oh, that would have been so. What time bummer. did you get in in Bora Bora? Like afternoon, like five maybe. Okay. So we were able to get to our bungalows by the sunset. I saw, I saw like you're, you you. Because I edited all the footage yeah. for those of you who don't know, so I I watched every second. It was so beautiful. It's but so beautiful. When I have you got so off, many more GoPro clips that I can't wait to show you. That first clip of you on the golf cart, like going from the land onto the dock, oh, like yeah. where the mm-hmm. the sunset. Yes. Oh my god. Oh yes. I was dying uh-huh. with the palm tree hanging. Yeah. Oh my god. They when we got off, so you when you land, you have to stop in Tahiti, which the flight there fantastic by the way. The pilot was such a sweet guy. He came out and like talked to us because me, I met two new besties. Well, she's my bestie, but he's her boyfriend. So it's kind of like a package deal, I guess. So I met Cody and Tiana, which so many of you guys knew. I had found her a little bit before the trip, Mm -hmm. but I hadn't like watched a ton of her stuff yet, but I could tell the vibes were there like from watching her videos. So like me and her had messaged like slightly. We're like, Hey, we're excited to meet each other, but we clicked immediately. I've never seen like anyone, anyone who was on the trip. I only knew Emily and Avery because of you. Yeah. And then I never saw Tiana, but uh, me, oh know, my God, for that very long she that. seems She's like, pretty new. she seems like such a vibe. Mm-hmm. I could not wait for us all to hang out. They love Tampa. Okay. And so I'm trying to convince him to come play for the Bucks instead of the Bengals because he's an NFL player. But regardless, they were fantastic. They got us through that flight, but Cody was so scared. And on the flight? <laughs> yes. That's and so, so funny. The plane was small. But it was when you picture a private jet, the one that we got on, there was two bigger planes. That's what I thought we were getting on. But that was planes one and two. And then they're like, this one's yours. And it's this tiny little white plane. I'm like, I'm actually dead. Like, I'm afraid of commercial flights. Every time I get on one, I'm so certain that I'm going down. I just tell myself over and over again, you pass out before you hit the ground. You pass out before you hit the ground. I'm pretty sure you do. If you're like the G-Force, I think you pass out. That's what I was telling myself anyways. Okay. And so we get on the flight. The pilot comes and is talking to us. He seems so chill. And it was more comforting. He said that he flies this plane all the time. Mind you, they all got to stay in Bora Bora. They what? That's the gig. They got to stay. Because they, they they're not going to fly it back to LA and fly oh. it back. So they all just got to stay and enjoy hotels in Bora Bora. Like the flight attendant, everything. Did, did Tart pay for them too? Yeah. So you, you charter the plane. So somebody just bought that plane. So the, oh. the pilot was like... The pilot works for the company that the, the guy who it's owns like the plane. It's like Uber for a plane. Kind of. And so he goes, yeah, this dude just bought this plane because he needed it like for tax write-offs. So he just bought it. Oh, Can you imagine me? able to just buy a $50 million plane. Just meh. Who cares? And so he goes, he flies it like twice a year and the rest of the time we just have it. And so he, um, he was really sweet. And the, the plane was great. The fight was great. There was barely any turbulence. It was fantastic. The windows were so big. So yeah. You could see so much stuff. And we actually ended up being happy that we got the little planes just because it was great. Now, there wasn't Wi-Fi. So I was disconnected for like 10 hours, which would have been great on the way back. It was fine because I downloaded stuff. I had nothing prepared for because they, they told us there was Wi-Fi. But when you think about it, how do you get Wi-Fi in the middle of the ocean? You can't. Well, like planes get Wi-Fi. But you're never flying that far in the middle of the ocean. Mm. So like even when we got on the big one, we had in and out Wi-Fi the last like two hours getting close to LA, but then we didn't have it for the rest of it. But it was like a nine hour flight. Okay. You land in Tahiti, you go through customs, they just come on and do customs. They were so strict. They were scaring us. In Tahiti? Yes. The pilot even was like, okay, I don't want to offend anybody, but I guess that's very like French of them. He's like, no, that makes sense. They're French. Like, they take things very seriously. Okay. And so we sit there for like an hour, and then we fly to Bora Bora, which is one little runway. It, it, there's it, no there's no airport. Well, the island is tiny. Yeah. It looks... Well, it doesn't feel tiny when you're riding around the whole thing on a jet ski. It feels <laughs> massive. But you just land, and then they give you a lay. So beautiful. And the flowers, the smell. You were getting laid every two seconds. I got laid so much. You were getting literally laid every two seconds. I can't help it. Me and my mom just did not expect to get laid when we we went there. Yeah. 
Um, and then you get on this little boat and they took you over to the resort and they had these little pictures of our faces. The shape tape was, was there. I, they I, I had, everything. Tarts attention to detail. Crazy. No, I had to watch it like a hundred. It was insane. Like they had a huge tart shape tape mascot mm-hmm. jumping around like bongos going yep. every, like all these people jumping around dancing with all your faces on sticks. Yep. I was like, it was fantastic. Even did mommy Kelly get a face stick? Yep. Every <laughs> single person got a face stick. That's insane. They treated every single person. Super equally, everyone had the same exact stuff. Even plus ones got treated as if they were the influencers. Yeah, there. like Mama Kelly's. Yeah, they, they did not show. leave a single person out. And or how anything. how quick they got this done? You were invited like six I, days before. Yes, yes, and so maybe they just knew I would say yes. So they had started like weeks <laughs> ago. And they waited to ask until right before the freaking trip. Brianna chicken fried. Did you see? What no? So she was invited with Grace. Yeah, like they were both invited, but Br- Brianna got stressed by like all the dress codes and like how like it was last. Nobody minute and listened stuff. to that anyway. She didn't think she would be able to like um, make it with everything uh-huh. going on, so she said no, and then she felt like such an idiot. She was like, I should have gone. I cannot. Ma- you, there's nothing you could have told me I had that would make me miss that. Okay, I have a bone to pick with you. Okay. Okay, on this, the first episode of our podcast, yeah, we said our dream guests. I said Tana, Brooke, Sarah Baska. Yeah, I don't remember you ever saying her. I said her. Brianna Chicken Fry and Grace. Her. Brianna Chicken Fry, I remember. And Grace. Maybe I just tuned out after Brianna Chicken maybe Fry. Maybe you didn't like know Grace yet. Yeah, maybe not. Right? I only learned of Grace when she went to one of those award shows. Okay, well, then. We almost got in a fight. Who? Me and Grace. Oh, yeah, we'll talk about that. <laughs> okay, then. I'm on Maureen's or Tart's Instagram, whatever. I'm watching their story. And I see you and Grace like oh, yeah. partying next to each other. I was like, we were by Grace is there. I, I wish I would have spent more time with her. Honestly, you guys were getting the same exact type of comments. Yeah. We didn't hang out that much. And I don't know why, honestly, I think we were just doing different things at different times, but she is a vibe and Tart, like they had like games and stuff that you would have at the parties and they kept giving them to, to me and Grace to like host them which is not my forte, but every single time I wanted to say no to something, you were killing it. I was thinking Andrew is, would kill me if I said no. Yeah, no, like you Andrew better. is going to kill me if I say no because like they wanted me to moderate the limbo. The limbo. <laughs> like, so like they hand, handed me the mic and they're like, "Okay, just like moderate the game, get everybody to come down on like the beach and play." And I I bullied everybody into coming. You down were tipsy and doing that, right? Oh, I was. I, I could tell you had your tipsy. Yes. You like that was have, the only day that I got drunk. You have this like screaming voice when you get tipsy. Oh, yeah. and you were doing it. I'm, you could hear me in the background so of everyone's funny. videos, like screaming people's <laughs> names to get down onto the thing, and I was just like, I don't know what came out of me. You were like, I, I do played... take bribes in the form of tequila shots. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but they liked you. But they liked me. Yeah, they it loved worked. You. And we played flip cup. Mm-hmm. And I don't remember. I don't think I've ever played flip cup in my flip cup in my life, and I got to do it twice. So I was I started the first game. Grace was the moderator. It was she was so funny. She's hilarious. Yes. Well, comedy is her thing. Like she's a yes, comedian. I can see that she's hilarious. And I flipped it first try. Got it. So helped my team win the first time. Mm-hmm. And then I was the end of the second one. Oh yeah. And we yeah. were super behind. And I flipped it and I got it. But apparently it was a tie. But both times, first try, like I flipped you don't think the cup and got it. Well, I wasn't paying attention. And then all of a sudden everyone started screaming. Like everyone, we, we got, like we're jumping up. Like, oh, we did it. And then everyone was like, on the other team was like screaming at me and pointing at me. So I thought I did something wrong. Like I broke <laughs> the rules. So I'm like, wait, I don't know the rules. I just did what I did last time and it was fine. But then once they realized I was sad, they were like, oh no, we just meant it was a tie. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, I think you won. I wasn't there, but I think you won. I think I did too. But Grace. But we came back from like the bike. We were like four people behind. Mm. And like the other girl was like just doing it, trying to get it. And then I got it and I got it first try. Okay. So what I'm going to say about all the comments and everything. First of all, you and Grace were getting the same type of comments. (laughs) And I don't know if you noticed, but on everything, all of Maureen's TikToks, on all of Tart's TikToks, everything, all of the comments were like, Samantha Joe, Samantha Joe, Samantha yeah. Joe, Samantha Joe, Samantha Joe. Sam- Same with Grace and T. Yeah, it was, it was, and Grace and, her, and Tiana. Uh-huh. And I was just like. People loved that we were there. It's so weird to me. Like, I don't realize that. Like, people what? know you that much. Oh, me either. It, but, well, no, I know. But, but I think people liked that we were there because, one, you don't see a lot of big people invited to stuff. 
And two, we were just posting like normal people stuff. Mm-hmm. Like we were quite, I mean, I hate to say that, but we were quite literally just like normal people on this trip yeah. versus like a lot of the people that were invited, which as they should be, because it's a makeup brand, were like beauty guru girlies. You yeah. know what I mean? Like super like cutesy aesthetic stuff versus, and like, that's a lot of the content they were shooting, which some of the pictures and stuff these girls got were just insane. Oh my God. I Crazy. Avani's pictures? Yes. Uh, who was taking them? Uh, uh, I think Maddie. Certainly not her iPhone. Oh, yeah, I don't know, but they're crazy good. They went jet skiing with us. They were both really nice. And the one girl is fearless. Maddie. Oh. Maddie Monroe. Is that her name? Yeah. Fearless. Is she the one who's always in drama? I don't know. Because I think, okay, so I think there's two TikTokers that, like, surrounded, like, the Hype House era. Yeah. And it was her. she used to be a part of that, too, right? Well, I, Maddie? I, th- I, I couldn't even, I don't even know what she looks like, but oh. I know it's her. And I, then I think there's another one called Mads, or are they the same person? No, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm the last person to ask. Yeah, I don't, I don't keep up with that kind of but stuff. But one of them is literally on, like, I watch the BFFs podcast. One of them is talked about every single time because she's in every oh. drama. I I mean, if that was her, that's I'm, that's shocking to believe because she was just so chill. It's like, start a drama with Tana, start a drama with oh. everyone. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe don't, you guys I, let us know. She, she goes by Maddie, I think. Yeah, I'm, I I feel like it wasn't her. It's, it might have been. I, yeah, I don't know. I remember her being friends with Charlie way back in the day. Mm-hmm. But then, like, that whole friend group doesn't talk, like, hang out or talk anymore, I don't think. So it's like, I don't know. I okay. don't know. And that could be her, but I'm not really sure. But they were very sweet, though. But she is fearless. Like, she was just the first to do everything, like, absolutely everything. Really? Like, she wanted to, she would have, like, hugged the sharks if she could. Oh. She does not even, like, slightly afraid. I've got something exciting to share with you guys today. You know, nothing gives me that naked confidence like going to the gym, playing my favorite music, and pushing my limits. But let's be real. There's one thing that can make or break my confidence. Body odor. That's where Loom comes in. I've been using Loom whole body deodorant for a while now, and it's a total game changer. Powered by mandelic acid, Loom stops odor for up to 72 hours. From your pits to your feet and everywhere in between. Plus, it's pH balanced for safe use below the belt. And comes in fresh scents like clean tangerine, lavender sage, and toasted coconut. And here's the best part. For all you new customers out there, Loom's got a special offer just for you. Use code SIDETRACKED at loomdeodorant.com to get $5 off the starter pack. That's 40% off, including a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, and two free products of your choice. So if you're ready to say goodbye to body odor and hello to naked confidence, head over to loomdeodorant.com and use code SIDETRACKED to get your hands on Loom today. Remember, control body odor anywhere with Loom. And don't forget to snag your $5 off starter pack with promo code SIDETRACKED at loomdeodorant.com. Well, thank you very much. Every comment I was noticing was about like you three. Grace was getting so many comments, like collab with Samantha. Yeah. Like, you were getting so many comments. I know that's why Grace. I felt bad that we didn't hang out more. You guys had the same, like you didn't take it seriously. No. Like it was yeah. just like. Well, I was there to like experience the stuff. But like, okay, does she know your name? Who? Grace? Yeah, we, we talked for sure. Like, we almost got in a fight. Yeah. What, what do you mean? Well, the second to You're, last like, stressing night. Me out. No, I, I think, granted. I think she understood what was going on. Maybe, Grace, if you're listening to this, you can tell us if we have beef or not. But in order to get anywhere, your options were walk, <laughs> giggle, which we did during the day. But when I had like makeup on and I was all ready for like the night, I'm already going to sweat when I go outside. I I'm not walking. I'm, I want to hear about the fight. Yeah, you're going to, but this is the backstory. I like to set the scene, okay? Okay, okay, set the scene. You had to call carts from your bungalow if you didn't want to walk. And they would take a while because there's so many of us there and we weren't the only people at the resort. Okay. So we called and you had to tell them how many people it was for because if you didn't, they'll only bring a cart for two. I said, hi, I need a cart for four people because Tiana and Cody were going to come with me and my mom. And we waited, we waited. The cart shows up and there's only, or in Grace and her friend, I don't know her friend's name. but Plus one? Yeah. Okay. We're our, I don't know if she's an influencer or just her friend. She's not. She's not. Okay. They were already sitting in the cart. Like facing that way. And they were so sweet. They're like, hi, like greeting us, like so excited or whatever. And I'm like, shit, Um, we needed four because like Tiana and Cody didn't plan. Like there's not like another cart coming for them. Yeah. And so I had my my mama Kelly went to get on the cart and I had just said to the driver, like, Hey, like 
we had ordered a cart for four. Is there any way like we can call another cart for them? Okay. Talking about Cody and Tiana. Oh, and they thought, they you- thought I meant them. Oh. And she goes, well, we, we were here first. Like as if like she, she's as if I was asking them to get off the cart. And well, I, learned, I looked asking, at her like- or saying like I, I looked at her. I was like. Oh my, like, no, 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 no. I'm talking about them. Like I will, I would canoe over there before I would make you get off of this cart. Like but I would never was, do that. This was the friend that said it? No, I, I don't remember actually. Okay. I don't remember if it was Grace or her. I was blacking out at that point. Cause I was so afraid that I just started drama <laughs> unintentionally. I was like, no, no, no. I'm just talking for them. Like, is there any way you can just like call one and get on there? But it was like awkward for like a minute after that. Like, I don't know if they really thought that I was saying like, Hey, like get off my damn cart. Yeah. But and the worker was not, anytime you had to like ask for a different card, they got so mad. Also, they are like very normal people like us. Yes. So like they're, they're probably coming into the trip. Like all they're these thinking, in- like influencers are snotty and snooty. Yeah. So they probably uh-uh. were taking it like. Yes. Great. So I could have said for like Tiana and Cody, but like to me, I was just talking to the workers, like, like for the other two. I had said like, oh, we're, we have two more with us. Like, is there any way we can get a card for them? What did they say when you were like, oh no, not you. I was, she just like, they like giggled. Okay. And like, so I think it's fine. Okay. And we did talk the next night. We ended up like walking into dinner at the same time and we okay. talked for a little bit, but I almost was because everybody kept saying like, you have to hang out, you have to hang out, you have to hang out. I was like nervous. It was like pressure. To like get around her and like her not like me. Yeah. And I have really bad social anxiety. She is I very feel like, like. She has social anxiety too, but I don't want to like call her out and be like, she has it. But she, I could feel that we felt the same way. Yeah. Well, you know what I love about her is she's very East coast. Yeah. Like then her that's her accent I, is so cute. That's where I'm from. Like she's very like just rough around the edges, like can seem mean when she's not being mean. Yeah. And that's what I love about her. She's just very blunt and yeah. just very East coast. Yeah. And that's why I think you guys would get along. No, I think we would too. We went to breakfast one of the days, like at like the buffet and mama Kelly pulled up. There's a video of, uh, Grace in the pool at like one of the night parties that me and my mom didn't go to because I don't know how people can hang for that long. Yeah, you were up at six a.m. doing all of the things all day long, and then after dinner going to a party that was just a little bit too much for me and my mom. Yeah, <laughs> would, like go back and go to bed. But I knew a you. Were, did, of, do you remember the last episode? No, I don't remember. I was like, "There's going to be late night parties, and well, you're we, not going to go." We didn't miss all of them. I mean, you there was f- two of them that we didn't go to because, like, it was the last night. You did enough. <laughs> yeah, we we really tried. Yeah. Um, but there was a late night one that we didn't go to. One because it was raining, down torrential downpouring. Fun. And and two, we were tired. And so the next morning we woke up and like Tart had posted a video of all of them in the rain in the pool. Like they got matching swimsuits. It was so cute. And she had a, a hat on that had the drinks on the side. And oh. she's drinking them out of the thing and like vibing. And me and my mom were talking about like how we love how cute she is and like how she's so funny. And. I, we didn't realize they were only sitting like two tables away and like her friend looked at us. And so I don't, they, all they heard us her I think all she heard us say was grace. So I don't know if she thought we were talking shit about her, oh. but we were just talking about how much we love her. Grace, we love you and we want you on the podcast. Yeah, we do. We, I think I said that to her. Mm-hmm. I think it was the drunk day. I said, po- they love us podcast. Let's go. And she's like, okay, yeah, we'll do swap. Does she have a podcast? She her main thing is podcast. She probably thought you meant like you're going on her. Po- she, her and Brianna have a podcast together. Oh yeah, she said we could do a podcast her main, swap. Samantha. But she said that. Did she mean it? Yes. DM her now. DM her now. Okay. Why well, don't have my phone? Yeah, I do. Speaking of DM. Okay. Should we say who followed you and DM'd you? Okay. Yeah. Guess who? Well, he he answered mine. Okay. Because I had said something like, okay, I'm not going to not say anything. And so like, hi, oh my gosh. James Charles. That is, like, you have one four of Sister Squad. I know. Could you imagine Emma? Which, like, obviously we know everything, you know, uh, like, there's so much controversy, whatever. Around everybody at this point in the world. Yeah, but the fans it's still just such like a crazy thing that like James Charles followed me anyone who knows us from 2018 oh, yeah. knows we were the biggest sister squad fans so Huge. like if we knew back then I know that he would follow mm-hmm. you and DM you it would it's like just a crazy. playlist the one year when we're sitting outside in line to get into the party and like James was like right behind us like if we knew that like one day he would follow us yeah because like, he doesn't remember that that was a thing and I we were like dr- yeah. dying because him and Charlie were behind us mm-hmm. and we're just like <laughs> That was years ago. That was app. That was so long ago. Twenty twenty. 
Yeah. Uh, before the pandemic. Yeah. So no, I think that was 2020s Yeah. because it was right before the pandemic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyways. The, so that's crazy. Yeah. But that happened because of the trip. I, I don't know that you guys care about numbers, but this is just crazy to gain from a trip on TikTok. I gained a hundred K. That's insane. Yes. Meanwhile, I- <laughs> from this trip right before this, I was telling you, I was like, Oh, I went live on TikTok and I gained a hundred followers. <laughs> Mama Kelly even gained like 10, 000. she's at 20 something thousand on TikTok. That's now. insane. TikTok is my smallest platform. Although everybody, I, I never, well, ever, only because you don't use it that much. I never promote my stuff on here, Yeah. but I've been should. posting, I've been posting every day on TikTok and reels mm-hmm. every day. I, it's my fifth day in a row. So that's actually, I don't know that I've even posted every day for five days outside of this. On a normal like Sam, occasion, get real. You'd hardly miss a day. On TikTok, I miss days all the time. You hardly do. I miss days. Is That's it? actually real. And then like, reels, oh, I never post. Yeah, that you don't. I gotta post get a better lot. on. But even on Instagram, which I know you got, this does not matter. But when I tell you, like nowadays in social media, it's so oversaturated. It's so hard to grow. Mm-hmm. And I don't take Instagram very seriously. I don't post very much on Instagram. Before all of this, I had just hit 300k. Yeah, I was like so excited to have 300k. I have 340k. Yeah, wait, you were on Instagram. You were at like 290 something for like ever two years. Yeah, I, I don't. Well, I mean, I post pictures like randomly and stuff, but I yeah. So like the growth. Wait, what are you at now? 340. That's crazy. Yes, because like most of the people that people follow on t- Instagram are like the just like super aesthetic. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And like I post pictures, but like I don't go out and like plan Instagram photo shoots. I just okay no. if I'm gonna take a picture today, I'll take a picture. You're so today. good at it though. Like I like won't post on Instagram for like two weeks at a time. But, I mean, yeah, when was the last time you posted an Instagram picture? Um Let's see. Pull up the date. The Adriana. Oh, okay. Well, outside of that. Okay, outside of that. Like the last time you were like, okay, cute out, but let me post a picture. The last time I mean I have pictures to post. I've okay, so I always post, has like a million two posts. He never does. I post reels more often than I post pictures. Yeah. Uh, the last picture I posted. If you say Miami, I'm gonna cry. No, gosh. No. Okay, no. Um, the last one was when we launched the podcast. Oh, okay, okay. But the, but 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 I have a before bunch of reels. That, is it Miami? No, before that it's another like photo shoot we did on the beach. Before that it's. The Barbie premiere. Okay. Before so that, you, the Taylor you, Swift you, concert. You be- way better than actually previous LA. years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, so I, I'm better, but I, I have been posting reels. Yeah. And also, you want to know what I want to do? Mm. Okay. It would be fun because everyone talks about how much money you make on Snapchat. Oh, like, yeah. Like, everyone says it's, like, where you make the most money. And I just had... But how do you keep up with so much th- shit? Th- okay, I, I had a call with my managers this week, and, like... That's what I was saying to them because they were like, oh, like, you know, definitely post more on Instagram, this, this and that. Snapchat, because for those of you who don't know, people are making like the most money no, now crazy amounts of money. on Snapchat. Like I think David Dobrik is making like millions, a million dollars a month. Yeah. I wouldn't I make that. I know smaller people who are making like a hundred thousand dollars a month. Yeah. So, but you need to get into this like creator program and it's really hard to get into. Yeah. Like you get paid, like Sam's not even in it. No, but I don't try though. Because I had like this... Good connections. Yeah, I have good connections because I've been in the game for forever. He's old. I yeah, I got into this creator program, so now I can make money from posting on Snapchat. And the other, I only have like four thousand followers on yeah. Snapchat. I posted follow like, him on Snapchat. I posted like forty times the other day, which just random pictures of like I think the Grammys. Yeah, I made eight bucks, but but if you were to do that all the time, if I got more followers and views, so I will share how much I make. You guys, if you guys follow, it's Andrew TMI ten. Is there a QR code we can put on the screen? For oh, people on YouTube? Yeah. Um, you said, I'm sure Caesar can Caesar ask, just asked for it. I'll put it on. But if you guys want to follow, and I'll I'll at least start with posting every time I come here. I'll post like the two day, the day or two that I'm here every time. Oh, yeah. And I'll let you, I'll keep you guys updated on how much it actually makes based off of views. Because I think I posted, I posted like 43 times and overall it got 47,000 views and it made like $8. So I we'll, mean, we'll see. $8 a day would add up even. Yeah, but like, a day adds up but like couple, I also do nothing hours. like on days that I work. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's why I'll start with when I come here. Yeah, for sure. You guys are getting like influencer stuff now. What did you say to Grace? Just now? Yeah. I just told her what was like, I was just, like, I just sent an initial like hello thing. You're lying. No, I just said hi. Oh my God, I love you. And then we'll see when she answers. If she, she doesn't follow me on Instagram, so I don't know if she'll see it. I'm sure she will though. Because it usually puts like people have more followers like higher yeah. in the like list of stuff. Mm-hmm. But I'm not verified there either. You know what? Okay. With giveaways, I like, I 
always want to join giveaways. This is a random thought. I always want to join giveaways, but I can't because like I know I'll never be picked because I'm like a micro influencer. Do you know who want at, posted telling everyone to let her win my giveaway? Who? Honey Boo Boo. Wait. What? Honey Boo Boo shared my giveaway on her thing, saying like I, like guys comment or whatever, so she so she can win my G Seven X giveaway. I said. Honey Boo Boo? Honey Boo Boo follows you? Yeah. Her name's like Elena, I think. Or something like that. Is she like 40 now? No, she's not that old, I don't think. Because she was a child on that show. That is... I know. That's so... So I guess what you're... I'm only bringing that up to say to you. But like you looked at it like, like, okay, unfortunately, you're not winning. You're Honey Boo Boo. Yeah, I can't. And so like... But I'll be friends with you, Honey Boo Boo. Yeah. Not that I'm as big as Honey Boo Boo. Come on the podcast, Honey Boo Boo. Could you imagine having Honey Boo Boo on our podcast? Wait, can we get Honey Boo Boo? I, I, I would love to have Honey Boo Boo. She you know is who, an icon. You know who we can probably get? Because my mom's friends with his mom. Who? Damien from Mean Girls. Oh, how iconic and, would that be? And she lives in Fort Lauderdale, his mom. So He probably visits. I also half think my mom's being catfished, but we'll Oh, see. by who? Someone who, like a killer. I don't know. A killer? Well, because like, they talk all the time, but like they've never FaceTimed. Who? My mom and Damien's mom. Oh. And I'm like, well, just FaceTime. And she's like, no, we will. And I'm like, well. They what? They email? No, they talk on like Facebook. and. Oh, but so I does want she them have like a lot of friends? Like a sketchy looking Facebook page? No, it's not sketchy. Okay. That's yeah. probably too fine then. But I don't want them to do, FaceTime. Wait, but do old, uh, sorry, Mama TMI, my mom is old too. They're, do old people like old. FaceTime and stuff? Because that's not what they didn't used to have it's my that. my mom, she's old every day. What? They didn't used to have that. You know what I mean? So it might not be like normal for them to like meet new people and FaceTime them the way that we would. I know. Well, yesterday I was yelling at her. I'm like, you need to FaceTime. And she's like, I cannot believe my kid is telling me like I need to. And I was like, I can't believe I have to tell my mom. To FaceTime. Yeah. That's funny. But yeah. It's so. just, it's just the age gap, the age difference, mm-hmm. difference in how we grew up. They grew up with like typewriters. The, l- my mom talks about how she had a word processor. I think my, okay, I think my mom is like, what, 20 years older than your mom? No, my mom's turning 50. My mom is 62. So 12. We're going to be 62. So she really had typewriter at one point. She was before typewriters. Yeah. Well, no. She, they typewriters were like using, have been around since like 1800s, no? They were like using crows to send letters. <laughs> like, like messenger pigeons? Literally. Sorry, mom. That's funny. So was there drama on the tar trip? Um... I was expecting more. Me too. I was scared a little bit for like I was scared I was gonna accidentally be the star of the tart drama. Oh, come on. Well, by accident, like somehow I'd end up there in the middle, like kicking Grace off a golf cart. Yes. <laughs> and so, like when we first were all waiting in the little room, we like, everyone was talking to everybody, and so like I, me, Mama Kelly just kept going to, like different groups of people, and there wasn't really anyone by themselves at any point. Like everyone was all chatting. And at one point we saw these two people that were sitting by themselves. I felt bad. I was like, oh, that sucks. Like maybe like they need someone to talk to. Like why is any, isn't anybody talking to them? So we went up to talk to them. They were not having it. What? They just were not into talking to us. And I had talked to so many other people and that was, you could just night and day difference between the conversation we were having with these people versus with all the Who other people it? that we were talking to. I'm not going to say. Can you say we'll beep it? No, I honestly don't know their names. What, they're TikTokers? I don't know. I only had recognized one of them because of some, I don't know. I don't want to give any context. I okay. really am not name dropping anything. Okay. And so at that point, though, I was so anxious to get on that plane. So I was like, they're probably scared shitless to get on this plane. Yeah. And I just assumed like, I mean, you know, maybe like. That's it. I, I, I'm never, I'm going to give people the benefit of the doubt because in social situations, I know it's a good possibility that I could come off differently than I mean to just because I'm uncomfortable. I'm anxious. Plus like, it was early. Like yes, maybe it was t- early yeah. in the morning, whatever. But apparently it stayed that, like I wasn't the only person who had that experience and it did stay that way for most of the time, um, like throughout the trip. So I would say they probably weren't the nicest people. And then I know there was some other drama that went along with like, just like people feeling like not included not because of tart but because of like the people that they were hanging out with like it did kind of get clickier than I was expecting I thought that there would be less clicks 
but me and Mama Kelly were kind of just like going around other than Tiana we kind of just like talked to everybody yeah but there was we did learn on the last day like me and Tiana the day before the last day me and Tiana were just saying the whole day like on the boat because we got a whole boat to ourselves because nobody got I know I saw that and so we were saying like we were so shocked that like there's literally no drama and then there's this one girl I'm not gonna say her name just because I'm not gonna put her out there but she's the best thing ever she's the life of the party she walks in it lights up everything beautiful love her uh what's bad about that um, this is the one that is having the drama and I'm not going to call her drama out. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, so she was feeling like the group of people that she was with, they were just like being like, not nice to her. They were like telling her that she was doing too much. She had like messaged me before the trip. Tell like so excited that I was going. Cause she had like watched my YouTube videos for forever. And the group of people that she was with told her like to stop sucking my ass essentially. <gasps> and I'm like, what do you mean? And like, she was in our video. Like she was in like so many people's videos. Cause she was literally the life of the party. Love her. And they were just telling her like, I don't know if they're just jealous. Cause she was getting in people's like content mm-hmm. and they weren't because they quite literally weren't trying to. I think I know who you're talking about. And she was so cute. Like, she is the cute. I love her. She was like all over the place. Yes. Oh my gosh. The best energy. And so it really broke my heart to see like, she was having like a hard time because of it. Um, but that, that's pretty much it. I think when it comes to drama that I knew about yeah. and then me almost fighting grace. <laughs> But I, and I was expecting a lot more. I, I think most of the drama surrounding the trip was coming from the outside. Uh. Because I have, and honestly, we were so many hours behind everybody that it was like hard to keep up. Oh my God. I loved it. We were five hours behind. We were like finally on the same I know. Time. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> I'm always, I always wake I, up later than you. Very much so. We were waking up at like the same time. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering why the past like two days I've actually been struggling, not just waking up, but just, well, I've gotten up at like eight every morning, but I felt so tired all day. One, it's just a long trip, like emo- like emotionally long because like I've, I'm not a social person. So to yeah. have to be social for five days straight is crazy. Um, but it's just, we were also just doing a lot and the sun takes it out of you, like being in the sun the whole time. I put sunscreen on so much and I still burnt so bad. Yeah. I don't know if I was just using bad sunscreen or what, but Maureen, I don't know if I can pass trips. They've had drama over people getting sunburned. Oh, I, everything I saw, she was like screaming at you. to. Put- she was just screaming at me 24 seven to put more so sunscreen funny. on me and Emily got so burnt. I was afraid to meet Emily and Avery. I love their really? stuff. They are so sweet in person because sometimes you see these like gorgeous, gorgeous girls and you assume that like, they're going to be mean in person. That's just my experience with like girls because girls can be bitches for sure. And they were so kind and so sweet. It's something that they just reminded me because you just yeah. said a whole bunch of people. And I meant to say this before you kept on saying like you were having imposter syndrome. I feel. Oh yeah. Because you kept on saying like, Oh, like these, I'm like, I'm around these huge creators, blah, blah, blah. They're- like, And you kept on saying stuff like that, just of that, in that realm. And I was like, Sam, you are, you're like twice the size of yeah, but a lot there of people are, there. Even though like you can have a certain amount of followers and still not be as relevant. But that's the thing. Like I, because we're best friends, like I feel like you're not as relevant as you yeah. are. Like I just like, I'm in your house right now. Like that's, I was kind of saying this in the last episode when I was like, they're like watching us as a show. Mm-hmm. Oh, I guess. Which yeah. I think canceled watches us because on the episode yesterday, they were like, we're just sitting on the couch right now, but everyone is watching this as a show. And I was like, they got that from me. Or they- you just quite literally, I'm so in tune with them. Okay. No, literally. Like maybe you're just meant to be best friends. Or they watch the podcast. Okay. They but being us. best friends would be better than them just watching the podcast, right? Yeah. But or I, both. I don't think we're best friends yet. Maybe if you're watching this canceled, reshare. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Post it to your community tab. No, I'm going to send the Warriors out because now that I saw that they got you on the Bora Bora trip. No, y'all got me on the Bora Bora trip. They like thousands, like tens of thousands of people comment on everything. They didn't insane. have a choice. They, we can do that again. They're like our little army. The people were commenting, obviously not as many, but people were commenting for me to go on it. And yeah. I was like. On what? Oh, the Tart trip? Yeah. Yeah. I was like. People I, were sad. And I, did, did we talk about it on the podcast? Yeah, we talked about it. Whatever. Like, it it's matter. not that I don't love Andrew, no, but Mama Kelly needed to go. But next time, me and Mocha, the whole time we were on the trip, Mama Kelly was like, I got to soak it in because Andrew was going next time. She's, I'm no, like, yeah. I don't even want to. I'm so happy Mama Kelly was there. If you guys saw the last TikTok, first of all, Mama Kelly's a TikToker now. She's getting she's like hundreds TikTok of thousands icon. of views. The video of her crying. Th- that's what I'm saying. The last video, she was leaving Bora Bora and she was crying because she was so grateful. And I, I was like, I hope everyone sees that. I had no idea she was filming that outside. I don't know what I was doing. So cute. She was so cute. But um, I, I forget that like you're as relevant as you are. Oh. 
And I know, like, you hate talking about this. It's whatever. But this episode is about an influencer trip. Yeah. We're talking about influencers, whatever. Yeah. But you kept on saying things. And I'm like. Yeah, it's hard have... to think of yourself that way, though. Yeah, it, yeah I know. Yeah. It's hard for me to. Yeah. But that's leading me into, like, the topic I was talking about. Like, I don't think you understand how everyone was talking about this trip. Oh, yeah. I mean, we know that's how the tar trips go. Yeah. But I believe everybody on the other side of it. Dave Portnoy was talking all uh-huh. about it on BFFs. Trisha, I watched just Trisha on the way here. Trisha went. No, she was talking about going, and, but she was saying she doesn't think she would ever go. Why? She hates influencers. Okay, but that's why I, I really don't think people always say like, "Oh, like just Trisha, come on." It didn't, but there were so many of us that were there that just weren't acting like, and I don't know how that influencers act, but we weren't acting like that. Like there were so many of us that were just there to enjoy it and have fun. But think of how many people Trisha has been around, and like it just. I guess. But. I mean, I think maybe if she was offered, she would go. But she was saying, she she was like, I don't know. Anyway, I was watching it on the way here. She talked about the trip for like 30 minutes on the last episode. And she was talking about like everyone who was on it and how, how much she's like following the trip and how much she's seeing. I was like, she definitely saw you on it. Like, oh yeah. She definitely saw. Mm-hmm. And she was saying, she was like, I don't know, like most of the people on it. Um, She's like, but like no shade, like good for them. <laughs> she definitely I don't, I didn't know most people on it either. I knew like Emily Avery. Uh, I knew Grace at that point. Tiana, but I met so many people. Only one of the like, people that came up and were like, "Oh my gosh, I like love your videos. I watch your videos." Oh, Whitney was there. Oh my god, I love Whitney. I'm gonna message Oscar uh-huh. and tell him that you want to go on just Trish. I would love. Well, we we want to go on just Trish. Well, I'll say you, and then like when we get there, I'll be like, "Oh my god." Or we. Yeah, but I don't want him to like look at because I'm gonna message him and he'll see like my humble like. 35,000 followers on Instagram. Tell her that I'll give her the scoop of the ha- behind the scenes of the trip. Oh, yeah. we will fly there this week. Okay. Mm. I'm just going to be like, I just got home. I know, but if J- if Trish... I mean, yes, if Trisha wanted us on the podcast. We'll fly there for two days. Yeah. I'll fly there overnight if I have to. Okay. I'm, I was going to say this for later, but I'm just going to say it now. Guys, we need you, the Warriors, <laughs> to spam Trish... <laughs> Spam canceled. Spam Tari yummy. Oh yeah, she's popping off. And most of the most attainable, I feel like, is um, Brianna Chicken Fry and Grace. Mm-hmm. She did say it. Granted, I think we were both drunk. I don't know though. She gives off the fun drunk energy when she's sober, so I love it. Yeah, but they're like cool best friends, and like we get the same like yeah. s- similar views. Yeah. So I think they'd be cool with it. Do those swapsies? They are really getting like the inside scoop no, of really our conversations are. right yeah, now. Yeah, they really are. But like, yeah. I saved a little tea. This is the most tea I have for you. Okay. And wait, did I tell you about how I caught the Four Seasons lying or no? No. Okay, so we stayed at the Four Seasons and we're, that's where we were staying. I, unreal. I don't know how to explain how beautiful. But lying. Okay, it's not that fucking deep, Samantha. But when we got off, the after we went swimming with the sharkies. Yeah which is something I never thought I would do. We, they took us to this little private island and they had like picnic tables in the water for us oh, to eat on. Also, I just want to say, Sam wouldn't get in the water because of the sharks. So they, the people on the boat told her they were tuna. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and looking back, I look like an idiot. The video, I think I was in such flight or fight mode at that point that you could have told me anything and my brain was going to immediately accept as the truth. No. He goes... No, those are just big, like, yellow fin tunas or something. I'm like, oh, okay. That's that no, fast. I'm no, like, oh, literally. okay. And you, I hop in the water. It was, like, a big thing. Like, she would not get in the water. She was like, oh, uh, I'm not going in. And the guy was like, oh, those are tuna. And she went, oh, okay, and hopped in. Yeah, quite literally that fast. And then I looked under, like, and saw, and with, I was like, those are not tuna? No, you were, yeah, before you went under, you were like, oh, my God, the tuna's over there. Why didn't Maureen tell me they weren't tuna? You had to get in the water. That is true, I guess. But when I tell you, it wasn't just like a shark. When they said swimming with the sharks and snorkeling, I assumed that we were we would be swimming around and there could be a shark. No, they were swarming. No, there was like and a the stingrays. One one shark to person yes. ratio. That stingray that the guy was holding, that I got to hold, which I got to hold a stingray. It was huge. He, it was like he knew her. Like anytime he gets in the water, like she swims up to him Aww. and her name is Moana. Like little dogs. And yes. And she, he says that she loves this. Like she's the only one that'll come up and like, she wants to be pet by the people. Like she lives for it. That's it's like so when cute. she thrives, but they kept saying like, Oh, don't go near the tail. And she'd be like swimming, swinging it around. Cause that's what can sting you. I yeah, think you went really close to the tail at one point. I well, don't know if I put that in. Before they told us. 
Yeah, you were like trying to pet it like yeah. by the tail. I was like, Ugh. they're like, mm, don't do that. Okay, Steve Irwin. Like, yeah, but that was something I never thought I would do. You, I didn't think if you would have told me I was swimming with sharks and I didn't get paid to swim with the sharks, I wouldn't believe you. <laughs> now I will never. Those were like little. They were like quite like this big. Mm, they were bigger than that. No, not for, no, not really. They seemed a little. They seemed like six feet. Well, it's also like in no, <laughs> they were not six feet. They put also like in the water, like water magnifies. Okay. Like they really weren't that big. Okay. Black, I guess black tip sharks don't get that. Like don't get super big. Um, those are the sharks that we were catching here in the bay. Yeah. The black tip ones. You won't catch me. I mean, may, you can write me a check for a million dollars. I'll think about it. Getting in a cage and like having great whites swim around me. Oh yeah. No. Like did that you, is not happening. Did you see the video of the shark jump in the cage? No. no you no, never no. seen it? No, I don't want to either. Sam, they go down in the cage and they have like... It's all cage, but then, like, for cameras and stuff, they had, like... A gap. A gap, like, that... It tried to go in. Oh, it dove in and, like, wiggled and got in the cage with the divers. And there was a great white shark in the cage with the divers, and they were under the water, locked in a cage with a great white shark. What did they do? I The video ended. I think we know how that ended then. hmm Okay, well, that I'm not doing. Let me just specify. I'll show you the video. So after. I can say I swam with sharks now and people will think it's cooler than it was probably. I like, think I'm more badass than what it was because they, I'm pretty sure they were harmless little. Those are the same ones that people saw like by the bungalows, mm-hmm. like where you could h- ch- jump off into the water. Now I was afraid of those. Like I was so afraid that that one was going to come up because those ones are probably less, less used, used to, yeah. to people swimming by them. But that's clearly an excursion they go do every single day. Yeah. And people get off and they swim around them. Like they were so unfazed. The stingrays were like chasing people, like chase the Maddie girl that's and like went after her. Oh yeah. Yeah. You it were was like, yeah. so funny. Um, but after that, we got to go to an Island to eat food. That's where we got the shirt that he has on. And when you got off, they gave you another like lay, which smelled so good. But I think me and my mom were allergic to them. And then they gave you a, fr- like a coconut and they had said that like they just drilled these holes in these coconuts and like had like marked them with like the tripping with tart or whatever. Yeah. But like they just all were going off and off and off about how this is so fresh. It comes like they literally picked them, put the hole in, stamped it and you're eating, you're drinking this coconut. And they also, wa- oops, sorry. They also warned us not to eat, drink too many of them because you would just start shitting yourself. Mm-hmm. And um, Tiana really wanted a second one and I, we were pretty sure that they had gone through all of the coconuts already, but just in case we walked back up to the front where we first got off the boat and they had like a cooler sitting there. And so she opens it to like, see if there were any more. I think they had told her that there wasn't any more, but we were like, are we sure? So we went back to like, look, and it was just, there were so many cartons of coconut water. Stop. (laughs) So they had, which we knew this, there's not that much water in a coconut. If you drill open a fresh coconut, there's water in there, but not that, not like a full coconut full of a whole glass of water. What does coconut water taste like? I've never had it. I'm not the biggest fan. You seemed like you liked it. Were you lying? I mean, I drank some of it because I knew it was super hydrating. "Mm." I mean, it wasn't bad. Yeah. But I wouldn't drink it every day. Okay. But like, does it taste like coconut? Kind of. <laughs> it tasted like thick. Oh. I think I would have liked it better if it was colder. Oh. Like it wasn't like super cold, which is why I thought, oh no, for sure this is from the inside of a coconut. Yeah. Because it's like f- fresh. But no, they were filling it up with the cartons. That's funny. Yeah. Which makes more sense like why there was so much in there. But I was like, are you little liars? That's funny. You little scheme. And you told us it was like fresh from the inside. Granted, it's probably still super fresh coconut water, like from the island, yeah. but still the fruit. Oh my God. It looks, so good. I've never had a better orange in my life. You know, while I was editing all of the footage, um, cause like I was editing like in real time, she would like send me yeah. the footage. Which I was so difficult. With the I was Wi-Fi. just playing avatar way of water. Oh yeah. It looks like Pandora. Yeah. I am 100% convinced that they model avatar and Pandora after Bora Bora. Oh really? Pandora, Bora Bora. Yeah. Oh, See, I felt like I was in Moana. It was insane. And so I literally was just playing like Avatar. At, well, I don't know if you noticed, but I have the Avatar soundtrack in some of your TikToks. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, well, that's funny. <laughs> I, I, can, I can see it for sure. Like the way the greenery looks and stuff. Yeah, and the, oh my God. The water. I'm, okay. James <laughs> Cameron. Is this, do, we, do we figure out that's I think who it's it was? James Cameron. James yeah. Cameron. We okay. are going to the Avatar premiere. Yeah, I know. Well, I don't know what I need to get Mama Kelly invited to. Garfield. The Garfield premiere. Oh, you could do that. I don't know who's ho- like who made the movie, but I gotta figure that one out. Garfield premiere. They probably aren't gonna get us here, but I need to like make a video about it. Yeah. 
and like get her invited because she would simply pass away. Although I was confirmed that LA is toxic. Every single person, I, I thought I was the only person every time that I've stepped foot in LA, I've gotten sick. Oh, so, like physically toxic. Yes, physically. <laughs> I'm sure mentally too. But we landed there. We landed at like 9 a.m. And then we had all day in LA. My mom has never been. So like she wanted to go see the Hollywood sign, all this stuff. So we rented a car and we drove around. And by the end of the day, I literally couldn't breathe anymore. I was so sick. I um, Uber Eats NyQuil. Well, especially you went up what, or Runyon, Dayquil. Runyon Canyon? Huh? Did you go up Runyon Canyon? I don't know where we went. You went up like the hill to see the Hollywood sign? Well, we just drove. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. And, but the amount of influencers that we saw too, like, do you remember Summer McKean? Yeah. She was taking pictures at the Hollywood sign when we were there. <laughs> and we saw the Glambot guy walking on the street. No way. Yeah. Oh, my mom, I was like, oh, this is not the Glambot guy. He had a big camera like on him. I don't know what he was doing, but oh, my nose it's just so bad. But yeah, I don't know. I never see influencers when we go there. And we, we kept seeing people for sure. Well, you, you went to the touristy spot. Like I guess the- that's true. Yeah. He was walking on the beach, like t- kind of towards the beach, but we, we just like drove around. I was just so sick by the end of the day. And so I had bought a big pack of Dayquil to bring with me. So I was, like this, I was like, I can't actually be sick. I was just sick. And I wouldn't get sick when I get re- actual sick. It takes days for my body to catch up to it. Yeah. I have to just either be allergic. Like my allergies must be really bad when we're there or the smog was so bad. <laughs> Way worse is. than when we were there. Really? Yeah. So much worse. You could not see anything. It's getting so bad. It's getting really bad. I'm worried. I know. I was like, I don't. And so I thought, okay, I'll bring Dayquil with me. It'll help me like whatever. And I also think my body just used to the humidity and it's so dry on the West coast that yeah. everything is just doesn't love it. And so by the time we were in Bora Bora for like a day, I was fine. Like the humidity, whatever. It was great. But I was like everybody's drug dealer because oh. everybody was sick. Emily kept coming. She would text me and be like, do you have my hookup? <laughs> because she's it's day quill okay people <laughs> but like i brought some with me because i thought okay i'm gonna need it and by the end of the time i had no day quill left i'd given it out to everybody and they were all saying that it came from la like they had to be in la for a day and they got sick in la mm. and then i didn't get to meet allison cooch oh she was supposed I don't to be on our plane <sighs> your mom was saying she didn't get to meet yeah but like- they she put me on her close friend story and so i get to see pictures of her baby and oh my god because she doesn't show her baby's face on the internet what? Okay, yeah, I just don't know anything you're talking about. Oh, yeah, about. so she doesn't, like, post her baby's face. Okay. She'll, like, cover it with emojis, but then she'll post, like, the uncovered ones on her uh, close friend's story because she knows, like, we always, like, what oh, does she Scotty do? is so cute. She has vlogs, and her husband's an NFL player. Uh, and so, like, they're iconic. They're so funny. You would like her. She's funny. But I thought she sent her sister in her place. Her sister was coming with initially. I don't remember. And her sister was on the phone with her when I was drunk. Yeah. Oh, no. And I took the phone. And oh, I just was oh. talking to her, but she was laughing. Yeah. And so I, I think it's fine. You're very, um, I also talked to Gerald's parents on the phone when I was drunk. Did my you? boyfriend's parents. You're very, we're very different when we're drunk. You're like, yeah. I'm c- crazy. crazy. Like, no, I was talking to his mom being like, I'm going to learn how to cook good meals. <laughs> yeah. We're both like, I feel like when we get drunk, we're both the lives of the party, but yours is a more, I go through a, stages. A better way. I'm. Yeah. Well, the I'm alcohol like, oh. there was also very. Mar- I knew Maureen was me and her, Maureen were gonna vibe. When the first night we were all exhausted, there was like a PJ party. Yeah. And we went because we needed cute. to eat food, and we just sat and were talking. And I was kind of scared because I had no energy. I I don't know if people got the vibes of me from the very first day, but they couldn't have been great. Not in like a bad way, but like, oh, she's much more calm than what I thought she was yeah. going to be. But I was so tired because I didn't sleep even a wink on the plane. And so she, we were talking to her for a little bit and we got up and everyone wanted to do the shot skis where you have like a ski and a bunch Sam, of shots in it. I saw you doing that. Okay, so guys, it's basically, it looks like a ski. Yeah, Like what you would like put on your foot. Ski, yeah. And it has a bunch of shots lined up, kind of like those candle things. Yeah, yeah. And everyone like, Tilts to ski together. Right, so everyone was like six feet tall doing it with me. And they had all get down to my level. I saw pictures of you doing yeah. that. Yeah. Well, I did it once. And I took the shot. And I, it was not bad. Because I don't know. When you had it all inclusive. I don't know if it's considered an all inclusive. But the alcohol was all paid for from tar. So anything we were drinking was like, you know, to pay for anything. Yeah. So I don't. There was always like those things where they water it down. That even Mama Kelly took one and she was like, that wasn't a legit Wait, shot. So like when you guys were like in the pool, like at one point I was editing, I don't know if I put it in a TikTok or not, but you guys were all in the pool to hanging out, like taking shots together. Those like, were chi- shots. Okay. But 
Now, did you guys pay for those? So technically we paid, but Tarte covered it. Okay. So you could just be in the pool chill and order alcohol and... Yeah, but we only went to that pool once. The yeah. rest of the time we were at the Tarte Villa pool and all the alcohol that was there, which it was just interesting because it's like the prepaid for stuff. You know what I mean? That alcohol was very different than when we, when we went and got alcohol from the main area. That main stuff was much stronger. The one time... I mean, everything was beautiful. I had so much... This was my favorite content. I've edited for you. Yeah. Like I've edited for you for almost four yeah. years now. Yeah. And this was by far my favorite content. Mm-hmm. But the one time I got FOMO was when you were all in the pool, like taking a shot oh, yeah. together. You, no, everyone was just, doing it with us. And you guys were talking about like, I, I didn't put it in there, but you yeah. guys were like, how are we here? Like, I know. And I was like, that's so nice. Like, I know. It was you, crazy. you all feel like you made it. Like, yeah, I know. Everyone was so cute. Maureen was so cute. But I knew she was my person because they want, needed someone to do it a second time. And I knew that that first shot was nothing. So I was like, yeah. okay, I'll do it again. I'm going, I'm, we're literally about to leave to go to sleep. I'll do it again. And, but she could tell, cause if you were asking me to do it and I was like, I guess, okay. <laughs> and she could tell that I just didn't want to take a second shot. And she went up, got a shot full of water. Cause it was clear, like when no one could tell the difference. And like, it was like, here, here, here. And like Wait, that's swapped funny. it out with me. I'm like, she gets it. That's funny. Like she's here for me. I love her, Maureen. No, she honestly was so sweet. And her, I didn't know her backstory. Like, oh, yeah. I didn't know anything about it. Like, she has gone through some stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's public. So you guys, like, look up her story. Like, it's so sad. She And she she said it in one of the TikToks that you guys went there. You guys go she to Bora there, Bora. Yeah. She went to Bora Bora on her honeymoon with her first husband. He passed away in the Twin Towers, mm-hmm. which is just, I cannot even imagine going through that. And, like, she had just started her company a couple years. So she started in the late 90s when Tarte started. And it's just she's been through so much and like, she just was so kind to everybody. She looks so young. Yeah, she does. And can you imagine like your mom owns heart? That's crazy. That's just, uh, yeah, crazy. But she was so sweet and knew that we were going to vibe. And she was doing the shots with us in the pool that day. And everyone got really drunk in that pool. I felt fine. But Maureen had us do a TikTok work to this like sound. <laughs> what was the sound? Girls just want to have fun. Girls want to have fun. Okay. It was like, wake up in the yes. middle of and they go, okay, for the first clip, like they wanted us to be holding the drink, but not don't drink it, they said. I said, okay. <laughs> and they go, okay, just sit there and like smize. And I'm like, what's a smize? And all I could think of was like Flynn Rider from Tangled. So I'm like. No, Sam, you d- were not even smizing. I don't know what you were doing. I was sitting there. Best and- I could come up with. Everyone is behind me dancing and having fun. And like looking cute. But I couldn't <laughs> see because I was no. in the front. Caesar, if you can find it, please insert it. It's on Maureen's TikTok. It was the most embarrassing thing ever. Sam's in a red bathing suit and she's just standing there mm-hmm. like. Great that it's funny. It makes the TikTok funny. But Maureen, girl's girl, was like, no, no, no. We'll redo it. We'll, we'll, we'll cancel. We'll film it. I was like, no, it's fine. And every <laughs> single comment is about you. It was just, when I, when I watched that back, I giggled, giggled so hard. I was dying. It was so funny. I was dying. Because that would be me. Like, everyone's looking cute. I'm over here like. So funny. I will, I will be using Tarte every single day. And it, I Okay, I kind of, I discovered so many, because I've, I've used Tarte for years. I used to be a beauty whore, right? Yeah. So I worked at um, Ulta for like a year and a half when I was in high school, and I was like a prestige consultant, so I'd be helping people over like in like the, uh, like expensive for stuff. I forget what it's called versus um, drugstore, but... I was so ready for all the new Tarte stuff when, when the shape taking out. This was in the era of like the first time they went to Bora Bora. Yeah. And I was just so convinced that I was going to be a beauty guru. And so I've loved makeup for forever. I've used shape tape ever since then, a couple of like the Tarte palettes ever since then. But, and then these, when these came out, I started buying Maracucci. these like crazy. Yes. Buying these like crazy. But I got to try so many other things from Tarte through this trip that like I went and I did my makeup today and I was like, Oh, like I'm going to like their little, um, they have like things that if you know, you know, that look like the Charlotte Tilbury, like little like bronzer sticks and blushes. I remember people saying they didn't like them from Tarte. I had gotten some before I left. Cause I was like, if I'm going on this trip, I'm decking out in Tarte. Okay. Yeah. Like I'm, I knew that they were going to give us some stuff, but it's so good. I didn't try a single thing there. And you that, don't have to be saying this. No, no, yeah. I'm not paid to do anything. Well, that's a lie. One, I'm very picky with mascara. I love their man eater mascara. People love the tubing mascara. Mm-hmm. I'm either not doing it right or it's just not for me. Yeah. But I think that mascara is super personal. 
like preference like everyone likes different types of brushes or whatever but I would just I discovered so many things like new bronzers from them new everything and their shit is good I saw people commenting which they were just hating on the trip in general being like well Tarte's makeup is ass but it's not no I I like it I mean even as someone who does no makeup at all I know Chart Chart tape Chart again is there you want to tell us what's going on in your pants? Tart Shape Tape mm-hmm. is like the best concealer. I, I love mean, it. I know it's like not used as much anymore because everyone was using it, but like. Well, I don't know. I feel like people, I think that became a staple in yeah. people's routines and like I, I just continue to use well, it. Well, I think people don't use it in like makeup routines anymore because like oh. they use new stuff like to try to yeah, show, but like yeah. everyone still uses it in there every day. Mm-hmm. I get sent surprisingly quite a bit of makeup, but I've never, I don't know. That's one of, that concealer and NARS are still like my top. I have to get the tart shape tape yeah you do i used to use it like years ago yeah it's good i love it i know i like you will be seeing me like putting lip gloss on on tiktok yeah like lipstick no these are great they're not not sticky these which i feel like i'm just selling shit now at this point but jared will kiss me with these on okay and like if i wear like the dior lip oils he won't kiss me like there's a lot that he won't but every once in a while he'll give me a kiss and i'll have that on and i'll be like oh you didn't mind he's like no I just feel like people... But your hair will get stuck in them if you're in the wind, but that's anything that you oh, have on your so lips. Annoying. I know. I just feel like people aren't going to get the humor. I'm probably not going to do it. Don't be afraid of them. Well, people... I come here and I show up every week and people say they hate me on the damn podcast, so... Okay, same. So, I mean, do we just... Do people just hate watch the podcast? Some... For sure, some. Oh, for sure. But also people, like, I've noticed this, but I've also noticed it with um, on Cancelled and stuff... That the people picking apart our friendship and, like, th- the way we blink at each other is not going to stop. Yeah. I mean, people think Tana and Brooke hate each other. Oh, okay. And it's just not going to stop. And, like, th- th- every episode, it's like, Tana's being so mean to Brooke this episode. Mm. Or I could tell, Br- like, Brooke doesn't like Tana this. It's just never going to stop. Yeah. So I'm going to... Just not care. Just keep being how we treat each other, which is fine. I did of- see one comment of someone being like, oh, Sam, fine. It's, she seems like she's more how she is in her YouTube videos now mm-hmm. on the podcast or in that specific episode. But I don't know what I did different in that episode versus other ones. I think you just have someone to reply to you to like dig deeper. What do you mean? Like you'll say stuff in your YouTube video and then you just keep going on to the next stuff. But like I'll ask questions and vice hey, but versa. How does that make me different? You know, I don't know. Plus I, I guess now. I talk about a little more, uh, scary things than you would talk about in your YouTube videos. I guess. But I also don't talk about just the, hanging out though. That's I don't talk about those right scary now. things in my YouTube videos. Like I feel like the podcast is just where you talk about true that stuff. True. I don't know. I just have always wondered how these trips go. So to me, it's so interesting to hear behind the scenes of it. Cause it was so interesting to be there. Are you like worried that it was like, boring now? <laughs> no. Okay, good. If you're bored, that's not my problem. That's yeah. yours. Oh no, I don't worry about that kind of stuff. I got over that when I started posting hour long videos of me doing nothing. And people love it. People love, people watch it. So, and that makes me happy because I can just like hang out and I feel mm-hmm. comfy. But I don't know. I just I watched these for forever growing up, and I'm like, okay, I'm going on one. And everywhere that you look, it says like tripping with tar, like the pillows, everything. And it's like, oh wow, I'm really like here. Before I left, I started filming a Q and A. Wasn't able to finish it because um, my camera died. But I'll just finish it like here, and the whole first half will be there. But like the <clears> background <throat> is just like the water and oh my God, the mountain, wait. and then like this is the thing that says like tripping with tart. And I had to like remember like oh all of those Bora Bora videos that I watched like this is where they were the yeah. same resort like this is this is the same thing like I'm I, I'm actually here. It's crazy, and you know what? I thought they went to Bora Bora every year. No, they only only gone twice, I think. Or once. that's so disheartening. Twice or once? I'm like good at... Oh, like probably not going back to Bora, yeah, Bora. Everyone plug your ears right now because this <laughs> sounds so like first world problems that I'm going to go on the next Bora Bora trip with you. Not, not Bora Bora. I'm going to go on the next Tar trip with you, which will and probably be like... be Bora Bora. Turks and... Because K- I know they do like a big one and then like kind of like a smaller one, right? I think and Turks was the big one though. Tar... Turks was a big one. Was it? Yeah. I believe so. So like am I going to go on the smaller one? But they've, gone, they've gone to Turks more than once. I think they've gone there twice. Like, the very first trip they ever went on was to Turks. Yeah. In 2015. Okay. I believe. Okay. And then they they went to Bora Bora. But I don't know. I don't know where they'll go next. Like, what if it's like, a, a, like did you see how Sheen did? Oh, my God. And they sent them to, like, the China factory? Yes. That is bold. I don't know. That's going to be the one I... I well, I wouldn't say you. yes. What? I wouldn't say yes. I don't think they knew. They thought it was, like, a trip to China. But no, like, they knew. They did. They knew. They were going to, like, make it look better. Like to go to the factory That's and like so make funny. it look better. 
I don't yeah, know how well, you thought that was going to go over well. Hopefully, if you get invited on the next Tart one, which yeah. I hope you will. Tart. 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 Maybe we'll both be invited and you could bring your mom and I could bring my mom. How iconic. Well, I will be... Uh, what? I will have translucent powder on my face. You should honestly start posting videos of like how guys can wear everyday makeup without having to be like full glam. And everything's going to be tart. I mean, sure. I mean, I was even talking to some of like the um, plus ones or like people's husbands, how like they've started to like, they're like either like stay at home dads now. I've even started to say like, I'm really curious to see if like, cause the influencer realm there is guys, but the guys that are influencers make more either like thirst trap content or Mr. Beast type content. Yeah. I, that's, There's I no, there's like that. regular life guy influencers just showing like what their lives are like there's like no more the quick little morning stuff of guys like get ready with me with guys like really or it's like super like yeah you supposed to think i'm hot like that vibe. that's the thing like i that's where i find it's so hard for me to grow because i don't appeal to like the gay audience like i don't yeah. make every video about being gay I, the the girls yeah i appeal to but not as a girl like yeah. not in like mass plus i'm not buying like makeup and showing yeah. clothes like you do you know yeah I don't, I don't appeal to a specific, yeah. I'm kind of just, they trickle in. <laughs> I just feel like it's such an untapped corner. Of what? Just oh. like guys posting regular stuff that doesn't just, this is my day. Like lifestyle guy. Yeah. But, but like, not like super like full face glam. Just like if you were to post like, a, okay, I'm a guy, which I'm sure it's out there, but like I'm a guy and I like to wear makeup a little bit because it makes me feel a little bit more confident. Like I have bags, whatever. I don't know how to use it. I could learn on TikTok. Yeah, you could learn. Like, I just, like, even, like, the stay-at-home dad stuff, I see so much about stay-at-home moms, but, like, these guys, these guys are stay-at-home dads now, and, like, I just see that being something that's going to come up in the yeah. influencer realm a lot more in the next, like, year. I think, like, guys coming forward and doing more, like, regular stuff. I will I be the why. forefront. Yeah, Tart. you should. Be the first one. Me just, like, needing to hold my face 24-7. Take us again. I mean, even if I never get to go back again, I'm so grateful that I got to go once. Watch, she gets invited again. She's like, actually, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to bring, I met this girl at Costco. Oh, well, no. You, for you for sure next. I mean, it's fine, but it's your choice. But how iconic we both get invited. I know, but I, I simply will not be. <laughs> Why not? Because I'm not, I, I mean, I'm not going to go out and buy, like. Uh, well, I hadn't posted a single tart thing before. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, I am going to try to take TikTok and Reels more seriously. And that's where like the growth is now. So yeah. maybe I will get more followers and mm -hmm. we will be a powerhouse. It's so sad. Like now, like having like a lot of followers on YouTube, it doesn't, no one cares. I mean, yeah, no and one I'm cares. like, I'm like, I have no, a lot people of followers. Did not, like I had, people were shocked when they told me, I get the, oh my gosh, my English right now. When they found out I was a YouTuber. Yeah. Like people were like talking, talking, talking about how they're going to start doing YouTube and I would be like giving advice and they would not like look, be looking at me as in like, how are you giving advice? But they'd be like, oh yeah, like have you been able to transition heavy? Like, well, and I'm like, oh honey, <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> like yeah. that, that's like, that's like, I'm a YouTuber. I know. At, like, and deep down. And so like to seeing everyone, they're all, I have felt this since the beginning of the year. There has been a switch back to YouTube again. Like YouTube views are higher. Like people are paying more attention to YouTube mm -hmm. again and the short stuff. And every single TikToker there almost didn't focus on filming TikToks. They filmed the YouTube vlogs. Really? And that new feature on TikTok where it can be sideways. People are posting like their stuff sideways and be like, turn your phone. Because there's a thing now where you oh, click really? it and it turns it so you can see the whole thing. So you can, if your video is 10 minutes... You can post a 10 minute full YouTube video on TikTok. Oh. Mm -hmm. Should I repost some of mine? I mean, yeah. You think? People are doing it. Like, I, I'm only vlogged the whole thing for, t for YouTube, but didn't vlog that much for TikTok, if anything. And what she like posted like a highlight thing of it and did like a get ready with me YouTube style. And it shows oh, up maybe this I should way repost you just like turn mine. it. Like, that's a big thing. Like, um, like get ready with me's, but like horizontal version. That's the biggest reason why like I haven't felt like an influencer in the past like year and a half because my biggest following is YouTube by yeah. far, yeah. by far biggest. Yeah. And like I don't, I have like I don't have a lot on Instagram and TikTok. Yeah, so like, I do think it's switching back, which YouTube always goes in waves. I hope. <laughs> I know. I love YouTube so much. I can just talk so much more. But it was it was really hard to film for both while I was there because I feel like I could have gotten more for either or if I had only been focusing on one. I haven't edited the YouTube video yet. I hope I got enough. Yeah. Like I tried to talk a I'm lot. I'm sure you did. And if not, 
like all of the GoPro footage is both so I can use for both but I don't know how much I talked but because I'm just such a talker when it comes to my YouTube videos like I just sit and chat with you guys for forever but I don't know that I had as much time to just sit and chat. I think you're fine because you always will be like, I don't know if I have enough footage and it's two hours. But I didn't really film like the get ready with me's for YouTube. I would just like give updates, but that's just what travel vlogs are. Yeah. Like travel vlogs are less like I'm just sitting and talking. So it'll be fine. And I hope that it's a good video. But the whole thing was just so surreal. Me and Mama Kelly were so happy to be there. Her 50th birthday is coming up. So it was kind of like her birthday trip. And she was just so, everyone loved Mama Kelly. And yeah. It was overall like, just like a trip of a lifetime for sure. It hasn't processed that it's happened yet. I don't think it ever will. That was, oh my God. I, the footage, me and Zach decided, we literally decided like we're not having a wedding. Yeah. And for real, mm -hmm. we're not having a wedding. Going to Bora. We're just going to Bora Bora. Like that'll be our wedding and honeymoon. No, for anyone will be invited. I just don't think anyone will be able to like afford it. We can get it sponsored. Podcast. <laughs> we just save every ounce of money we make from the podcast to put towards your wedding. All three pennies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But yeah, that I think, I mean, I could probably talk about it for forever Yeah, and it probably will come up in conversation for the next like six months and you just have to be okay with that. Yeah. This was a very influencer-y uh, episode. We needed so. to do an update on this trip. It was so great. And I, there's, I could literally, there's so many things I didn't mention that we could, but I know we would be here for four hours. I think the things to take away is our warriors <laughs> need to go spam everyone. I said, Terry, yummy. But you have to say, like, who your priority is. Is the priority Grace? Okay, who... Well, she's the most attainable, but... We probably should aim, like... Well, we're... I think, as a team, we I should split we up. I think vibe there really well. Well, I don't know. I don't think the, there's power in one direction at a time. One direction? That's what I do. Oh. Baby, you light up my that world way. like nobody, nobody else. else. The way that... Okay, um, so do you think... Cause do you, but you're already DMing Grace. But she doesn't follow me. Okay, so go spam... Brianna Chicken Fry and Grace's and podcast. And tell them that we want. I just think we would vibe, truly. Especially in a setting where I was super overwhelmed. She was super overwhelmed. Like, I feel like me and... Like, I could tell she was feeling the way I was feeling. But I had been to a couple of events before. So I was able to hide it a little bit better. Plus, like... People kept saying I was so outgoing. I'm like, I'm an introvert. You are outgoing. When I have alcohol. Well, no. You, see, so your thing I've is... i better for sure. When you get, you get outgoing as you're mechanism like your panic oh, mechanism yeah. is to be outgoing and like yeah. you'll but say inside, i'm like <laughs> yeah it used to be bad when you were like still living in wisconsin because it's gotten better for 100 percent. we would like meet someone you'd be like i just sharted <laughs> and i would be like sam <laughs> but it's a lot better now now oh, that you're one like, time which time sam? with the arm <gasps> should we it's not bad because there's this influence. It's bad. No, there's this. I, I didn't mean it bad. Sam, I almost passed out. There's this influencer and she tells her story about how she lost her arm and like awareness to it. Like that was her whole thing. It wasn't just like she was missing her arm and never mentioned it. And it was like the elephant in the room. Okay. Like that's why she had a following and from I did, that. I didn't know her. And she, her story was like that she got, I don't remember her name, but she like fell off this or she was like on the boat. Like, she was tubing. Tubing. I think. And it ripped her hand off. Maybe she just lost her hand. Well, bottom line, she didn't have an arm and we were hand. in the green room at, at a hand. We didn't have, we were in the green room at Playlist. This girl didn't have a hand and we're standing there. It's mortifying there. looking back. Keep in mind, I didn't know who she was. I didn't know yeah. how big she was, this whatever. This was like an anxiety response. For like It came out because I didn't know how to have conversations. Plus, you were not this Sam. This was like no. four years ago. Yeah. You lived on I mean, a dirt road. I'm not going to get canceled. That's fine. Yeah. But she goes, I, she comes up and she's talking. And you, you're better at it. Go she's ahead. She's talking. And Sam, like, as she's talking, Sam goes, what happened to your hand? No, I said, tell them what happened. I knew. I was like, tell them the story what? about what happened to your hand. Whatever it was. Because I knew that that was her content. <laughs> okay, yeah you shouldn't do that i shouldn't have done that no no it, 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 but from my perspective where i didn't know you knew her yeah i didn't i just saw this girl who didn't have a hand i'm trying not to notice it whatever and you're like tell me what happened to your hand i said it no i said it so nonchalantly because she shares it all the time yeah. so like i knew that it must be not something that she was afraid to like whereas nowadays i would never well the whole that. point of like, telling oh like what happened or maybe i wouldn't even ask you wouldn't the whole point of telling that story was how far you've come yeah <laughs> and the, yeah it was it was interesting but was anyway interesting. go spam brianna chicken fry and grace's podcast it's plan brie uncut 
and we will get them to do a, a podcast swappy with us. Yes. So I do feel like in, we'd be good friends. And then you have the same manager as Tara Yemi, so we'll try to make that happen. Yeah, I do. Before she gets even bigger. Yeah, because she's blowing up. We met her and she was so sweet. We were on a we podcast, were on a meet and greet with her. Oh, yeah, meet and greet. It was like podcast panel, meet and greet panel with her, and she was so sweet. So, yeah. Well, that's the updates we have for you on this tart trip. If you have questions, let us know. Don't forget about the giveaway down below. Mm-hmm. Yes, a big you can giveaway. Win everything big, that big was giveaway. in the room. We'll like put the link to the TikTok of me showing it in the comments, so you are in the description. That way, you guys can see the stuff you'd win, and just don't fall any don't fall for any fake scammers. Mm-hmm. Give this a uh, thumbs up, comment, audio listeners, leave a review, follow my Snapchat. And we love you. We love you. We love you. And we'll see you guys next week. Ah. You're stuck with us. Ah. I'm sad the cameras didn't die this episode. Why? Because every time you, you don't watch them back, which, but. Every time they die, it's a black screen, and he just puts the text of us talking. Oh, that's funny. And it's so funny. He can still do it. Well, it's not, it's not funny yeah, if the I camera guess. doesn't actually die. Okay, we love you. Love you. Bye-bye.